Hello there, this is Tim here for a quick video just sharing my impressions after reviewing the marathon of the first batch of Avenger films, Avenger movies. So those movies consist of Iron Man 1 and 2, The Incredible Hulk, Thor, and Captain America. So I had not really done this before as far as watching all of these movies in any particular order except for Iron Man 1 followed by 2. So what I found was uh, when watching the movies in release date order, it was just marvelous to see the actual sequential buildup up to the Avengers. So the, the order you're going to want to watch this in, and I believe me, you do want to watch this in this order, and you'll quite frankly enjoy it. So begin it with Iron Man uh, 1, came out in May of, uh, May of 2008, followed that by The Incredible Hulk, which got released a month later in June of 2008, followed that by Iron Man 2, then Thor, and Captain America. So that's the uh, release date that the theaters got, and it's a release date that you should watch these in. So why is it the release date that you should watch them in? Well, it's pretty clear when you watch the movies. Uh, so one tip is make sure to watch the final scene after the end credits. All of these movies have at least one scene at the very, very end after the end credits. And that scene will actually link together all of these movies, and as you're watching the movies, you'll notice storylines and elements from each of these films make their way into the Avengers and into the other films. So one of the cool things is just, uh, first off, it was just watching the end scenes and seeing how they link it up into the next movie to make this marathon viewing experience truly epic. So at the end of Iron Man 2, uh, or Iron Man 1, you have a link into the Incredible Hulk. The end of the Incredible Hulk, you actually have Tony Stark on st on the screen, leading into Iron Man 2. The Iron Man 2, you have uh, the agent needing to urgently go to New Mexico for Thor, which is just kind of implied, and the end scene of that movie is actually a scene from Thor that you will see in that movie, and it's pretty cool to see the timeline, because during Iron Man 2, the end of Iron Man 2, that's when Thor is actually beginning, so you can kind of, you really get a sense of the placement of these films, and as they relate to the whole piece of it, which is a, a very cool thing to see. Then, leading into, from Thor, you go to Captain America. So, the link in there is, you do see a preview you at the end of Thor into Captain America, you see that with the energy cube. So that's a direct link into Captain America from the Thor movie. So you see this sequential buildup, and it, it may seem weird that Captain America is actually last, but that's just how it works, because by the end of Captain America, you'll be at the state of that sequential order. Obviously, Captain America is... Uh, kind of a we, uh, kind of an unusual thing where it's from the 1940s, but it's it's also fun to view this in this viewing perspective because you finally see you know you've had references to this with uh, Hulk going Hulk going bad uh, as far as experiments when they were modeling it after this long-awaited Captain America. So you get to see all of these different interplays, and if you're watching carefully, you're going to have a great experience of, of seeing that interplay between the, the different movies, and then the ultimate buildup is watching the Avengers. So the last film in this first batch is the Avengers, and the cool thing about the Avengers is they take story patches uh story batches from each of those films and turn them into this cohesive well-tuned uh film well-tuned movie and it's a thrill to see these all in order i did this on a saturday and just sat down in the morning watched iron man followed by hulk followed by iron man 2 thor and then captain america and it was a fun fun day and uh just a blast seeing uh, how thoughtful marvel actually was when they crafted this uh, when I sat down to watch Iron Man back in 2008, I had no idea what would be happening in the next few years building up to the Avengers. So good job, uh, Marvel, and I'm excited to see Batch number 2. So for Batch number 2, it'll be less films, uh, but they're going to be good ones. So we have coming out 2013, Iron Man 3, followed by Thor 2, and then 2014, Captain America 2, followed by Avengers 2. So we're going to have a quadrilogy of films um, for the next batch. And then hopefully we'll have another batch after that. And uh, it's just going to be a fun few, uh, few years of comic book movies from Marvel. So uh, that is my recommendation to watch this in the appropriate order and to watch it pretty much back to back. And you'll, you'll enjoy it. I think uh, I really did. And I think you will too. So 
Uh, this is just my a couple thoughts on watching the Avengers as a marathon and uh, thinking of it as a cohesive unit rather than just standalone films, as all of them are, but also think of them as the cohesive unit that really does play well together. So uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll be back for uh, more videos in the future. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, T Chatton, and uh, aloha. Thanks for watching.